Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi with my Freedom Seekers Skeletons Only run. Uh, so in the last episode we had uh, we had Old Rust and Springs head over to World's End and didn't really have a lot of cats on us so considering there was a lot of stuff going on at home we had Sad Neil pop over to the way station which is just south of us and sell off some stuff because we needed cats and uh, then I realised that I had a little problem with our robotics setup so that's where we are right now so originally so I showed how to set up queue in here to uh, to put all these in the right order so that you'll end up with a skeleton repair kit and that was working quite well then I decided to put in a second bench so that we could have two people working on them now the problem with this is that if one bench created one of the parts in the list so we had all of these except for the hinge in the list in the correct order so that you'd make the one that you needed for the next one and so on and so on until finally you get to the repair kit which uses the end result but what would happen is this one would finish making a press but this one would steal it and then that would muck up the queue in this one because it needed a press for its next item and it would get stuck in that uh, in that situation so what I've done is I've added a third one so this one here we've just got doing motors and presses this one here just does the muscles and then the components and then this one here does the actual repair kits and so we've got uh, sad Neil is set up to do this one first if he can't do that one it's because he doesn't have the parts so then he'll move on to this one to make the uh, to make the components and the muscles and so the muscles are for the components and then if he can't do that if he still can't do it then he'll move on to this one which does the motors and the presses which are used by this one so by separating that out and then if i wanted to put somebody else on them i'd put them on in the exact same order so if this one's busy then they'll use that one but uh our secondary person it's only sort of as a backup if they run out of stuff to do down here so that seems to be working quite well now we're pumping out these uh repair kits quite quickly and we can sell them for quite a bit of cash if uh if we have shopkeepers that have enough cash on them uh we've also got oils over in flats lagoon uh he's currently Looks like he's run out of stuff to do. Uh, let's see. So I don't know if any of these are selling or not. But he uh, has been cooking up a fair bit of food. Okay, so that leather is full. That one is almost full as well. So maybe we... All right, how about for now? Let's... Uh, Take a bunch of them out of there and let's just put them in the general storage for the time being so he has done quite a bit and i haven't really touched him uh, since we set him up so this is uh, working quite well uh, let me see so he doesn't have any skins all right, so we'll have a quick look. Sometimes there's 
often some fights that are a bit further out that he may not be able to reach or might not be within his radar from where he is. I don't see anything going on, though. Uh, we do have... Let's just see if he's if he has actually looted this or not. She hasn't. So... Uh, but he is doing it now. So there he goes. He's cooking the meat, tanning the... Uh, Tanning the leathers, and he's already up to 53 in armor smithing just from just from doing this, and we have barely had to touch him at all. So that's going quite well. Uh, okay, which brings us back to Springs and Old Rust in World's End, and now that we do have a considerable amount of cats, uh, let's. Uh, it's almost night time. Let's pop in here before this shop shuts. And let's buy these two ancient science books that he has. Alright, so now these two guys are going to go on a little bit of a trek a bit further. We are going to go into this area, it's the floodlands, and I forget where exactly, somewhere around here. We will send them down there, and we're going to go see if we can find ourselves another recruit. Uh, so this is, this is vanilla Kenshi. And in Vanilla Kenshi, skeleton recruits are very hard come by. Uh, I may employ a little technique a bit later on to hire some more. Um, it may be considered as an exploit. But, uh, you know, I mean, if frown on exploits, try and find a YouTuber that is doing Kenshi runs without using mods. And there's not many. There's not many that are doing vanilla Kenshi. Um, so, you know, I don't consider that using, using features that are programmed into the game to be cheating any more than uh, using mods that, uh, that add options that weren't intended. So anyway... We are cruising along here and there is a bunch of towers over here and I think it's the one that I can see over there. I think that's the one that we want. Okay. Let's have a look. Showing up as an unknown tower at the moment, so I get a bit closer. Okay, uh, this is the one that we want. So there is a a skeleton here called Burn. We're going to speak to him and we'll ask him who he is. How about you come with me? Okay, and he is now one of us. We can rename him, we can uh, customise him. I'm going to leave him default. Okay, uh, we will make sure that he's on repair. Uh, let me see. Let's take this for ourselves. Um, let's just give him that whole bag. Okay. 
Okay. So he's got a long cleaver there. Give him that as his secondary. Uh, let me see. I think I'd rather have blunt resistance. Uh, that's worth almost nothing. It's definitely not worth carrying a kilogram around. But, uh, actually, let's have a look at his stats. So he's got 14 strength. Uh, he's got a little tiny bit of toughness. He's got a few different skills. Uh, I think I'll, what I might do, actually, let me give that one to Springs. Because that is rather heavy. It does weigh 7 kilos. And that one's 5. Uh, let's give this one to Old Rusty. can carry that. Alright. And while we're here, we'll search his tower. Now, if we have a look now, this is now... This is now labelled as Burns Tower. Um, however, all right. So if we hold down Alt, we can see all the stuff that's here. There's nothing on the surface that I want to pick up, but there are some containers to loot. And even though this is Burns Tower, it's considered stealing. There's nothing in there that I want. Uh, some nice boots, but uh, we don't use boots. It's a little bit of cash, but um, yeah, it's also extra weight. I'm not going to worry about, about weighing ourselves down for the return trip. Do get plenty of loot for cash back home that barrel is empty uh, actually let's have a look at these guys so if we go upstairs and upstairs again there is a skeleton repair bed in here so old russ is going to have a quick little nap and burn can come up to the next level have a look in this barrel. Skeleton repair kit. Uh, let's take that. Let's hold down Alt and see what's on this for. I mean, you know. Those CP, CPU units are worth quite a fair bit of cash. I mean, maybe we could grab those. They are also a little heavy, I think. Now, these grey things are not not stealing. We could use the other things. Uh, it's only one kilo. Are we in range to give that to old rust? Yep, he can carry that. Uh, let me see. I mean, we could we could use, you know, these other things, but I don't think it's worth carrying. Presses, you know, bits and pieces. Let's check this barrel. Let's uh, speed up there. There's another CPU unit. I mean, you know, we're producing these. I don't really see the point in in carrying them. We've got a fair distance to get back home. Um, let's have a look. I don't think there was any other containers. We'll have a look in there. There's nothing in there. All right, so the next floor up, we have a basket here. Have a quick look in there. More parts. Uh, hold down. Oh, nothing significant there. Let's have a look in this weapons cabinet. 
Uh, yeah. What does old Rust have? He still has this one. Old Rust can have that. Um. All right. Have to take it out because we've got burn selected. Got to take it out with burn first and then transfer it to old Rust. Let's pop those in there. Uh, let me check both of these. Alright, well. Old Rust is fully refreshed. We'll get springs on the bed. Get back to burn. Can have a look in this storage crate. Nothing interesting in there. And nothing upstairs, so. Alright. Okay, so Springs is fully recovered. Alright. So, uh, let's check. Burns. Seventeen miles an hour. Yeah, those Holy Nation guys that were chasing us to World's End were going around 21. 20. So, alright, what we might do, let's have a look around here. There are some more towers around this area. So let's just go for a bit of a wander. Okay, there's a ruin down here. And there are some that we need to be careful of. But let's go check out this one. All right. Nothing of interest really in this one. Hold down. Oh, I can't see anything laying around there. Um... And that is red, which means it's, uh, it is guarded. If we, uh, click on it. Okay, well, it's not showing a faction. Now, the tower that we just came out of was just a default skeletons faction. There's another tower over there, so let's uh, head over towards that one. Let's try and keep everyone together though, because there are iron spiders here. Like that one. And I don't know if we can handle, let's have a go. Burn is already down. Alright, let's fix him up. All right, and Springs is down. Let's uh, fix up Springs. Burn. Fix yourself up. Okay. So we could pop back over to Burns Tower and uh, heal up a bit more. Um, yeah, let me see. All right, let's uh, check out this ruin over here. 
some of these that are not too heavily guarded do sometimes have some ancient science books in them okay it is marked red uh, let's have a look So I don't see anybody in there guarding this one. Let's just uh, drag everybody inside for the minute. Let's close that. Now we did have a message pop up that the uh, the Traders Guild is here. Uh, and we also... Seems like we have a slave raid as well. Alright. Let's uh, quickly talk to this guy. All of you guys. Jobs off. Sneak off. Just going to cheese this again. By getting everybody... In a bed. Uh, we'll put them all on passive hold and block. All right. And Bolts is getting hit. Just going to get his toughness up. Just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get out of the bed. Alright, so they got bored of that. They're fighting with the Traders Guild down there as well. Just going to stay in the beds here. So there's there's barely a second of peace around this uh, outpost. There's always something going on. There's constantly rebel outlaws and and uh, traders guild and slavers and blood ra raiders and and uh, sand ninjas and what are the other? There's another bunch of ninjas that. Uh, are always coming in. Okay, these are the Reavers. Uh, these guys. Alright, there's doesn't look like too many of them left. So, let's see if we can uh, take this guy out. I think these guys have uh, short cleavers on them. Let's, uh, all right, he's trying to run away. Uh, I've got them all on hold and passive. Idiot. Okay. That took care of him. Let's uh, loot this guy. Yeah, these, these are what I want. Not too fussed about the armor, but uh, you know the majority of our income is coming from all this loot, and we are making considerable amounts of it. All right, so nuts. Uh, let me see. Now, Sad Neil has been using Tacker. 
he hasn't really uh he hasn't really gone up in skill with it I would like some some rusted junk ones all right we'll give that one to nuts though if we get a rusted junk one in uh then we'll give it to nuts. All right, let's uh, see what else we've got around here. Obviously, slavers have been around. There's boots and sandals everywhere again, even though I just finished cleaning all that up there is constantly stuff going on now do we have a splint kit we do so let's uh splint the smuggler so i've been helping us out quite a bit well, actually he's uh Slavers, no, they are finished by the looks of it. All right, let's take all this. Uh, I think these guys put those guys back on their jobs, and Sad Neil can do this looting. Uh, let's first aid this guy though. Let's see. All right. How about we try and take this guy down? Yep. All right. Let's loot him. All right. Let's pop this stuff away. And I'll dish out these uh, short cleavers a bit later. I uh, should pick up a scavenger's backpack for home. Um, okay. Now, let's splint the smuggler. This guy, let's uh, take him out. Uh, where's the rest of the guys? Gotta put your jobs back on. You guys can come in and help, please. That'll be handy. Alright. Look this guy before he gets up. Splint this guy. Uh, who is that here's a grey fire splint him always something going on around here it's never uh never much time in between some action so i think this is the first time we've had the uh the blood reavers come But we will take their stuff. Be that a, a bit of a lesson to uh, to invade my camp. Double this in here. We will shove these in here. So what is that? 
mid-grade salvage, mid-grade salvage, mid-grade salvage, okay. Shove those in there, get them combined. Uh, let's see, we miss anybody? There's a few. Alright, so we'll take that, 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 and that. Uh, this guy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Old world bow. And we almost filled up our uh, our armor storage again. Let's pop these in here. Uh, what is your? crossbow level it's only seven yeah you can stay on the junk bow for the moment All right. see if we can maneuver some stuff around to fit a little bit more in there that's about it um all right, we'll just toss that on the ground then. Loot this guy. And we can fit that in there. All right, toss that on the ground, that on the ground, pop that in there, and that in there. Pop these in here. Uh, we can pop the bolts in there. I uh, don't think we're going to fit that set of boots in. Now, the reason I'll pull them out of here and the other ones back in is because it by putting them in here while it's still a faction uniform it's it takes away the uh the stolen tag off of it all right so let's see got another one down here uh still mid-grade salvage This guy. All right, so that raid didn't turn out too good for those guys. And also, by dumping him out of here, that also means that uh, everything's going to be close together when I do want to... Uh, you know, when I do want to load up my bags and uh, sell some of this off. But at the moment, I don't think shopkeepers really have enough cash for us. Alright, the uh, weapons. Shove that in there or shove that in there. Uh, do have more boots on me. Okay, so drop those, shove those in there. And also, same thing with the, the medical storage. See, that's stolen. I put it in there. It's no longer stolen, and they will combine with any half-used ones that are there. As robots, we don't really use much in the way of medicals. I only really use them. So these, these grey flares... 
they are always hanging around my camp and they have been a big help. So I do heal them up when I can. Uh, let me see. All right, we've looted that guy. Whose bone dog is this? Black dog. I've never seen any of the black dog around here, but that bone dog has hung around here right from the start of the game. And uh, he hasn't he hasn't bothered us. Hasn't really done anything. Um, all right, let's dump those, pop those in there, pop that in there, pop that in there. All right, what do we got over here? Another one. Uh, okay, he's okay. All right, he's the actual rep. Um, can I, if I pick him up and put him in a bed? So we do have a sleeping bag set up in the back corner down here. I just don't know whether that's going to upset them whether if I pick them up but anyway you're limping no, we're fine all right so I think I think we've looted everybody it can be looted All right, so uh, let's have a look. All right, pop those out. Drop that one, drop that one, pop those in there. Pop that in there. Uh, we've got some boots. Pop those in there. Pop those in there. Okay. Nuts. Um, you've got stuff as well. Okay. Uh, let's put that one back and we'll give you the mid-grade one. Um, mid grade. Pop your stolen bandages in there. Hogs. Uh, you can change your wakazashi out for one of them as well. So that's a mid grade. Bolts. And the reason I want them to have some cleaver skill is because the cleavers do have 20% damage versus robots, uh, which even though we are robots ourselves, that will become important later on. Uh, well, as you can, as you saw with uh, with these guys, they are fighting uh, iron spiders and such. Uh, let's see. It's sad, Neil. Wait, that's a long sword. That's uh, 
Okay. You put that away, and you take that instead. Okay. Uh, now these guys can get back to work. Let's put everybody on sneak there. Uh, let's quickly check back in on oils. Yeah, it is saying that he is aimless. Um... All right, let's have a look outside. Uh, let me see. All right, I'll tell you what. This is what we can do. Let's... Uh, Take some of this meat. Yeah, that number hasn't changed. Um, I don't think anybody's really been interested in buying any of that. You know what? I'll leave four in there. And I'll try and remember that I had four in there. Um, okay, so we're going to pop in here because there was some uh, some research stuff in here that we wanted. So we brought up all the ancient science books. Uh, got these two engineering research. So let's sell off this meat. Let's buy those. Uh, what are these? Do we need a scrap tent? Not really. It's only 200 cats though. So why not? Uh, let's get some maps. Uh, we do have some cash. Okay. All right, we'll grab that one. United Cities. Map to Mongol. Tech Hunter Library. And location already known. All right, so learn that, learn that, learn that, learn that, learn that, and learn that. Let's have a look. So that has added all of these green ones, are the newly added locations to our map. I mean, they were always there, and they would have popped up on our map had we, uh, had we gone there. But... Uh, It doesn't hurt to have things to have things uh, up on your map. Uh, now, let me see. I don't think there's a normal weapons trader here. We've got a hat trader and an armor trader, and then the the archery trader. Let's just have a quick look. See what this guy's got. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to make our own bones, uh, bones, bows, um, sooner or later. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, let me see. Yeah. I will pop those in there. Hopefully I don't forget them, but I suppose I don't need to be carrying all of that on me. Let's just have a look and see if anything happened outside while we were doing that. Even if there were some fights further out. If we uh, bring him outside. Let's uh, take his sneak off for a minute so it's a bit quicker. If we bring him outside and there's any uh, any animal, dead animals in range, he will, we should 
well, if we put his job on, that is, he should loot them. But it uh, does look like it has been a little quiet. Doesn't seem to be much that's gone on around here. But that's okay. Alright. Let's just uh, sit him up here. And we'll just leave him there. I mean, the good thing about skeletons is they, they don't eat. So, anyway... Uh, we now have, uh, so we now have Burn as part of our, uh, part of our team. We don't really need him to have Sneak on anymore. Who's got Sneak on? Old Russ does. All right, let's have a look. Nothing there. Ancient Science Book. Beautiful. We'll take that. There's another one. Um, all right, hold down. Oh, don't see anything loose there. Let's go upstairs. Uh, let's check this barrel. Another one. That's three. Yeah, well, boots are useless to us. We could sell them, but once again... You know, I'd rather not carry the weight. Uh, all right, I don't think it was, well, I don't know why I'm checking a bread oven. Uh, actually, let's hold alt here. Nothing on that floor. Nothing on this floor. On Loose on the ground, that is. But we'll have a look in this basket. That's empty. Uh, general storage, some tools we don't really need those a weapons locker that's empty that's empty uh we've got a safe uh it doesn't have lock picking good enough for that nothing in that basket uh let's see if old rust can pick that no springs no okay uh there was some tools in one of these uh which one had the tools not that one not that one uh not that one it'll be the last one that i check uh Do you want to check that for me, please, Shrimps? Do have an iron spider outside. Um. Okay. Now, I could have sworn that there were some tools. In one of these baskets. Pick them up, surely. Nope. Uh, okay. All right. It might have been back in, uh, back in Burns Tower. So, we are currently in the Leaning Tower, Burns Tower back up there, so I guess we will go up and uh, see if we can find tools in there so that we can get into that safe, but that 
is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.